Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline Radio. The show is about transforming lives one story at a time. And we have people from all walks of life who come and share uh, the great things that they're doing. And uh, we, we have such great conversations, conversations that matter. And we have another conversation coming up with the founder of, um, of uh, a great organization. She is a dream builder coach. Please welcome Heather Edgington to the show. How are you doing today, Heather? I'm doing excellent. Thank you, Nikki. How are you? Very well, thank you. So I, I appreciate your time, and I know that you've got great things to share with us, so let's get to it. Tell me a All little right. bit about your, your background uh, leading up to what you're doing today. Now, I know you're from Montreal like I am, so I, I kind of have a feeling you've got a joie de vivre like I do. I certainly do. Yes, and even, even more since I discovered dream building, I have much more of a love for life than I ever did. So I was born in Montreal, and then I came to the Toronto area, and then I wandered off to Texas for 27 years, and now I'm back in Canada again near Toronto. Okay, so how long has it been now back in Canada? Uh, almost six years. Six years, okay. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between the Texan lifestyle and Toronto lifestyle? <laughs> It's entirely different. I came back to Canada. I really had to uh, readjust my whole way of thinking. And Texas is um, just an entirely different world. It's Mm -hmm. so much more outdoors in my thoughts, uh, much more hunting and fishing, and not so much downtown kind of living. Gotcha. Okay. Well, how about um, this, the dream building? When did that evolve and how? Well, it evolved because I am not a kid. I'm uh, 66 years old. And in spite of the fact that I had managed to get lots of education, I've got a master's degree in education and worked on doctoral courses in education. I've run technical schools. I've been a corporate trainer. Um, I raised my stepkids, but I never had a dream or a direction in life. I never Mm -hmm. understood what my purpose was, and I just wandered. And when I came back to Canada six years ago, I was old and fat and depressed and broke. And I had to move back in with my mother, not to take care of her, but because I had no options. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, I started Googling words. I started Googling happiness and love. And I happened to Google dream. And I came across the Life Mastery Institute in California. And eventually I studied and I became a certified dream builder coach. And I studied transformational philosophies. And now I'm helping other people do that. And it's just changed my life. I have found my purpose in life, helping other people find their purposes in life. Okay, excellent. So if someone comes to you, Heather, looking for uh, dream building coaching, what are some of the steps? How do you assess their needs? Well, I sit down with them and I either online or in person and I calmly help them to think about what their life would be if they woke up in the morning and thought, I love my life. What would it be? And, you know, it could be that they're 30 and they don't have a direction or they've 50 and their kids have left home or they've been divorced or they want to get out of working in a job and they want to start a business or they're in their 60s and they've just neglected to find out what they would love to do in their lives. I often get people um, to really get into their soul and search. I was in the Dominican Republic once teaching dream building and every day at lunch I helped another person 
to discover their dream, their initial start. And eventually the waiter came up to me after a few days and said, what do you do? Every day you have lunch with people and eventually they cry. And I said, that's because their dreams are coming out of them. It's what I do. So I help people discover what they really, the dream they have inside of them and what they would love to bring out. Awesome. Can you talk about some of the people that you've worked with? Can you think of maybe one or two scenarios in which you really saw transformation through your dream build coaching? Oh, yes. I did dream building with a lovely couple about a year or so ago, and I asked him what his dream was, and he had he knew his dream. He had his own business. He was doing this. He had plans for that, and I asked her for her dream. Just And she said she was a stay-at-home mom and that she wanted to support her children and her husband, and that was her dream. And I said that that was wonderful, but could she consider the fact that perhaps her kids are going to grow up and leave home, and then what would her dream be? And really, what would she love to do? And it turned out that she really wanted to be a transformational coach. And after that conversation and after our 12 weeks of coaching, stepping past fear and looking at what she would love that to look like, she enrolled in a coaching program. And now she has shared the stage with me on helping people understand what they would love to do in their lives. And it just changed her life. She is a different person than she was a year and a half ago entirely. Fantastic. Fantastic. I have another uh, client who um, is a drywall taper. He works on new houses. And when we talked, he said, that's what I do. There's no point in having a dream. That is what I do. I said, but what would you love? What would you really love? And he said he would love to take people on adventure tours around the world. And he is now working on getting a group of 10 people together to go climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. Just bam. Wow. Fantastic. So I, I make people believe. I don't make them. I help people believe that they can do what they'd really love to do. Fantastic. So what are some of the um, upcoming events that you have? Do you have any workshops coming up or uh, anything else that we can anticipate Maybe your appearance. I know you're coming on the Nikki Clark show and then in the very uh, near future, and we're really excited to have you there and on the stage. And, and I know that people are just going to uh, uh, love you. But um, anything else that we can uh, anticipate? Well, yes, I have. I, on, no, in November, I have a, an event with six of my dearest co-partners in your best summit it's an, a a one-day event two-day event and we help you discover what you would love your business to look like and then we do coaching after that so there's aspects of helping you design your dream business keeping you accountable and moving towards achieving that business we help you build content for an ebook and emails and do an image of your logo and what you would love your Facebook page to look like. We help you with Facebook marketing and to fill a marketing funnel uh, through Get Response. So it's an all aspect how to get your dream business kicked off and going. And in October, I am running a women's retreat at a castle down in Port Dover near Toronto, and it will be transformational learning and fun and spiritual learning, and it's at a place that looks kind of like Downton Abbey, so it's just going to be so exciting. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, that sounds fantastic. You know, um, Heather, I've I've learned so much... um, about what you do, and, and I think it's just phenomenal, and uh, we really appreciate, you know, how you've been able to share about some of the, the challenges that you had 
in the beginning and how you, you took your, your, your burden and became a blessing. Uh, a blessing to me is like a blessing and a lesson. And, and you're able to take that and, and um, build what you have. And, and it's, it's a fantastic legacy that you're leaving for the community. So I just want yeah. you to know that. It's, it's great work. Um, so thank, you. thank you very much. And how can people connect with you, Heather? Well, find? they can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash dreambuildercoach, all one word, dreambuildercoach. Or they can email me at dreambuildercoach at yahoo.ca. That's the Canadian form of Yahoo. And I hope to see people at our events in the future. Beautiful. If you want. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon again on uh, the Nikki Clark Show coming up very, very soon. So you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline with our very special guest, Dream Builder Coach, Heather Edgington, and uh, we wish you all the best, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks a lot, Heather. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.